Francis Ngannou reveals his next opponent after loss versus Anthony Joshua. An incredible proposition has been put forth by none other than commentator Steve Bunce. Brace yourselves as we explore the tantalizing possibility of a clash between two heavyweight titans, Francis Ngannou and Deontay Wilder, potentially serving as the undercard for the highly anticipated showdown between Tyson Fury and Oleksandr Usyk on May 18th in Saudi Arabia. Before we delve into Bunce's audacious suggestion, let's talk about the main event that has the entire boxing world buzzing. On May 18th, in the heart of Saudi Arabia, two giants of the heavyweight division will collide in a bout that promises to shake the very foundations of the boxing world. Tyson Fury, the reigning WBC heavyweight champion, will put his title on the line against the formidable Oleksandr Usyk, the unified IBF, WBO, and WBA heavyweight champion. This clash of champions is more than just a fight. It's a battle for undisputed supremacy in the heavyweight division. The winner will etch their name in the annals of boxing history, claiming the coveted title of the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. It's a matchup that has fans on the edge of their seats, eagerly anticipating an epic clash of styles, power, and skill. Amidst the anticipation surrounding the Fury Usyk showdown, Steve Bunce, a prominent figure in the boxing commentary world, has ignited a firestorm of speculation with his daring proposal. According to Bunce, the ideal fight for the undercard of this heavyweight extravaganza would be a colossal clash between Francis Ngannou and Deontay Wilder. Francis Ngannou's transition to boxing hasn't been going as planned. In his debut match, he lost to Tyson Fury after a spirited performance. Then recently, he lost his super-hyped match against Anthony Joshua, who knocked him out cold in the middle of the ring. Still, Ngannou hasn't given up on his dream and is willing to keep trying hard. Deontay Wilder, on the other hand, is a former WBC heavyweight champion known for his devastating knockout power. Despite his recent loss to Joseph Parker, Wilder remains a formidable force in the heavyweight division, with his punching prowess still striking fear into the hearts of his opponents. While the prospect of Ngannou vs. Wilder is undoubtedly tantalizing for fight fans, Bunce acknowledges the potential safety concerns surrounding such a matchup. Pitting Ngannou against the dangerous Deontay Wilder just two months after his brutal KO loss to Anthony Joshua raises valid questions about the fighter's well-being and readiness for such a high-stakes bout. Some might argue that it was ill-advised to match Ngannou against Joshua in the first place, given Ngannou's lack of professional boxing experience. Throwing him into the ring with a knockout artist like Wilder so soon after such a devastating loss could be seen as a risky proposition one that could potentially jeopardize Ngannou's long-term health and safety. However, in the world of boxing, where risk and reward often go hand in hand, some might view this matchup as a calculated gamble, a chance for Ngannou to silence his doubters and prove his mettle against one of the most feared punchers in the heavyweight division. Despite the concerns, Bunce believes that Nganu is just one big knockout away from being in a position to demand a rematch against WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, whom he lost to by a controversial split decision last October. In Bunce's eyes, a triumphant victory over Wilder could catapult Nganu into the spotlight and potentially set the stage for a highly lucrative rematch against Fury. This path to redemption is paved with treacherous obstacles as Wilder's knockout power and Nganu's recent setback present significant hurdles to overcome. However, if Nganu can defy the odds and emerge victorious against Wilder, he may find himself in a position to scream for a rematch with Fury, a chance to settle the score and potentially claim the WBC heavyweight title that eluded him in their previous encounter. While the proposed Nganu vs. Wilder bout would undoubtedly generate buzz and anticipation, boxing fans might have mixed reactions to this daring decision. Some might question the idea of featuring this matchup as the co-feature bout on the Fury Usyk card, potentially overshadowing the talents of younger fighters coming off impressive victories. On the other hand, the prospect of witnessing two knockout artists collide in the ring could prove too tempting for many fight fans to resist. The prospect of witnessing Nunu's raw power clash with Wilder's renowned punching prowess is an incredible proposition that could elevate the undercard to unprecedented heights. Also, the inclusion of Nganu, a former UFC heavyweight champion on the undercard, could draw in a new demographic of fans, those who may not typically follow boxing, but are intrigued by the prospect of witnessing an MMA crossover event. 
This potential crossover appeal could serve to enhance the overall spectacle and draw even more eyes to the Fury Usyk main event. Amidst the discussion surrounding the proposed Nganu vs Wilder bout, Steve Bunce also weighed in on Anthony Joshua's recent victory over Francis Nganu, stating, Three punches to restore everything. Three punches to get everybody off his back. I thought he was brilliant tonight. However, it's important to note that Joshua's win over Nganu, an MMA fighter making his professional boxing debut, may not necessarily restore his credibility in the eyes of many boxing purists. To truly regain his standing in the heavyweight division and silence his critics, Joshua would need to defeat top contenders like Oleksandr Usyk or Tyson Fury rather than an MMA crossover fighter. Defeating an MMA fighter, regardless of their popularity or past accomplishments, may not hold the same weight as conquering a seasoned boxer. While Joshua's performance against Nganu was undoubtedly impressive, it may be seen by some as a mere sideshow, rather than a true testament to his abilities as a world-class boxer. Nonetheless, Joshua's victory over Nganu could be viewed as a stepping stone a platform to showcase his skills and focus before potentially taking on more formidable opponents in the future. Despite the loss to Joshua, Bunce believes that Nganu will likely continue his journey into professional boxing, citing the potential for lucrative paydays in the sport. I think he does because of the money. He can get a fortune over here. The prospect of massive paydays could be a driving force behind Nganu's decision to pursue boxing, even in the face of a challenging debut and the potential risks associated with stepping into the ring against elite-level opponents. For Nganu, the prospect of earning a fortune in the boxing world may outweigh the concerns surrounding his safety and the doubts about his ability to compete at the highest level of the sport. It's a gamble that could pay off handsomely if he can defy the odds and carve out a successful career in boxing. However, it's essential to consider the long-term implications of such a decision. While the potential for financial gain may be alluring, prioritizing one's health and well-being should be of utmost importance, especially in a sport as physically demanding as boxing. While the inclusion of Nganu and Wilder would undoubtedly generate widespread interest and publicity, it could also be seen as a disservice to up-and-coming boxers who have worked tirelessly to earn their place on such a prestigious card. Striking the right balance between showcasing established names and providing opportunities for rising stars will be something that promoters and organizers must navigate carefully. A well-curated undercard can serve as a platform for emerging talents to shine while also maintaining the hype for the main event. As the countdown to May 18th continues, the boxing world remains abuzz with speculation and anticipation surrounding the Fury Usyk main event and the potential undercard matchups. Whether Bunce's bold proposal for Nganu vs Wilder comes to fruition remains to be seen, but one thing is certain, the world of boxing never fails to deliver captivating narratives and intriguing possibilities. Will we witness the explosive clash between Nganu and Wilder on May 18th, or will cooler heads prevail, opting for a safer and more conventional undercard? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. The world of boxing always keeps us on the edge of our seats, eagerly anticipating the next exciting event. If you enjoyed today's news update, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Also, to get the latest news updates instantly, press the bell icon. We'll see you in the next video. See ya!